Flashback Friday dolls and welcome back to the channel. I am Dory and I am showing off my Pinky Cooper and the Jet Set pets. They uh, were a line that was distributed by Bridge Direct, which really isn't a toy line that, you know, I am really, really familiar with or that I can recall many dolls. I might be, you know, having a bad memory, but gosh, Bridge Direct doesn't sound all that familiar to me. I do know the inventor of these dolls was Carter Bryant, and he had, you know, a history of fashion and toy design, and he got the uh, original idea to come up with these dolls because of his sister's uh, Cocker Spaniel. In my opinion, these dolls actually resemble more of like um, a King Charles Cavalier, which is also a Spaniel, but it's in the toy, uh, toy side of the breed. Anyway, Carter and his sister were also the original concept creators of the Bratz dolls. So I do find a lot of similarity with the Bratz dolls and these Pinky Cooper dolls with, you know, some, you know, um, you know, little changes here and there. But nevertheless, Pinky Cooper and her friends, her best friend is uh, Ginger Jones and Pepper Parson. And I have Pepper Parson and I have Pinky Cooper. This is Pinky Cooper. This is the gal, the main gal in the line. She is a um, gal from St. Louis, Missouri, who's obsessed with fashion. And she's a founder of a web page. And, you know, she's a fashion central, uh, you know, Miss New York City kind of a gal. And she loves everything fashion and, you know, having anything to do with that. So she runs a website and, uh, um, you know, magazine. She's all about that jet set life and fashion and all of that and her little pet over here is little pinky so that's her pup and a lot of people found it odd that you know these anthropomorphic dolls would have dogs as pets but there you go anyway this is pepper parson and her pet is saltine so you've got pepper and saltine which i think is kind of cute um they, these were fashion dolls and they were out um the summer as i say uh but uh, summer fall of 2013 and they were only around again for a year uh, 2014 that was basically the end of them and I think that is what makes a lot of these dolls that are only you know a one hit wonder type of doll very sought after uh, these dolls are extremely sought after and they're you know kind of hard to come by as you can see I'm missing a third best friend and that would have been Ginger Jones. She's the other um, friend in this group. Ginger Jones, the other best friend, was a creative um, expert designer. She, you know, hailed from L.A. And they were all best friends, the three of them. And Pepper is a well-known DJ in New York. She hails from New York. She's all about fashion and that urban look. So the three of them, you know, that was their whole deal. They were fashion jet set gals who really traveled all over um, and there were fashions that represented, I believe, England and Paris and everywhere that the girls got to travel. They also had, um, you know, fun play lines, all different kinds of things. And I just like these, for example, these are extensions that you could pull in and out of the dolls. Let me see. I have a couple here. I think these belong to actually Ginger Jones, but I don't have Ginger. They're straight. They're more of a straight hair. And these just plug bloop, bloop, right into their hair. You could pull them out and change them out. And there were different accessories and things like that. Cute little packs for the pets, either solo or uh, doubles with their, you know, prospective little owners. And I am really sad. I don't believe that I didn't get Ginger Jones. I mean, man, oh man, I'm looking for her. I'm on the hunt for her. So let me know if you ever see her out there in the wild. I'll be more than happy to look her up. I, I do. I do troll and hunt for her on occasion, but, you know, she's a hard one to, to find and pick up. Anyway, and because these dolls were only available for a year, like I said, they're really sought after a lot of these millennial kids. At the time, I think I was buying these for my daughter. And so those girls, are, you know, are looking for these dolls now. Um, which only stands to make sense. But anyway, these dolls are just adorable. And um, as I said, Carter Bryant got the idea from his sister's uh, spaniel, who was also named uh, Little Pinky Cooper. So, you know, that's how the name came to be, and that's how this 
concept was uh, thought up and, you know, just flushed out here. The dolls had incredible accessories, as I said, and fashions, and they're really cute. And I'm going to just pick up Saltine, or she, uh, I, I should say, uh, Pepper. Now, Pepper was my favorite because she really, really does to me represent a King Charles Cavalier. I might have to put one of those puppies in, in picture at the end of this video. And maybe if I can even find a rare picture of, of um, Ginger Jones, I'll try to attach that as well. They have inset eyelashes. Their eyes are really neat. They're, they're, they're painted eyes, but they're also inset eyes so they're not painted onto the vinyl it's another dimension there's an actual inset eye in there she's got a cute little heart uh, marking there and some freckles the articulation was beautiful on these dolls blushing fingernails and the little paw inside with another little heart really cute legs i love the freckles on the legs high heels and unlike the brats you know their legs didn't come off you could buy different shoes for them and things like that the fashion packs were really cute really a sweet concept of a, of a doll and um you know i've been showing a lot of my anthropomorphic dolls like my very old uh, patina poodle this one would fit right in also i have to get out of the vault sometime my madam alexander french kitty dolls another you know anthropomorphic french kitty but this i mean she was my fave even though she wasn't the main star pepper really um that's my gal. I really like uh, Pepper. She's pr she's pretty awesome. And Pepper Parson, that's her name. And then this is her little dog, Saltine. And Saltine also, you can pop off the ears. They had different ears and different outfits. And, you know, this one, oh, look at how cute. She's got a little gold bracelet. This one was in a two-pack, I believe. And that's why they very much resemble um, each other. And they complement one another. And um, her high heels are a little crazy there. But let's see if I can get that to go back she also has this cool leash for her dog i'll just have to place that like this for now or maybe not i don't know let me see all right girlfriend and then oh boy and they're out of frame so i'll have to bring them back and so then um and my lighting is really crappy today we are having a really um overcast day today so it's just nuts and then this is the um star of the show this is pinky and her dog little pinky over here also again with the inset eyes she's also got the little trademark heart there with her pink freckles really cute she's got a belt that matches her little uh pinky's little collar there cute really neat articulation they're bend leg knees and um you know articulation there at the elbow so they're a really well thought out doll that's a great concept also her hair comes off and you could change the look of the hair and then this is little pinky here let me see i made this little leash because although she did come with a leash in another pack i didn't get that one so i just made this one for her and their ears come off too you could take off their ears and put accessories in there sorry about the noise um, you could put um, little accessories and hair bows and things like that on the dolls. And I think she might have come with a, a bracelet as well. I'm not really sure. Um, but anyway, these are my Pinky Cooper dolls. And let me know if you have these dolls, if you remember these dolls, and what you think of them. I, I, I love them, honestly. They um, they really move very well, and I like the play factor where you could change up the hair of the of the main gals as well as their little pups. And they had fashions, as I said, different fashion packs. They had, you know, a travel case. So yeah, they're 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 a little bit hard to find on the secondary market, but they're definitely there. Uh, there's a big collection of people that love these dolls, a big group of people. So they make it very hard to find them. And they can be quite competitive uh, when you when you go go to bid for them. But anyway, here's my uh, contribution. I know there are a lot of channels participating in Flashback Friday. Please make sure to visit the tag. So many fun dolls. So many wonderful dolly channels. I am so thankful for all of my friends that are out there participating in this tag. 
I'm going to wish you all a fabulous weekend and happy dolly hunting. Bye.